Hi, good evening. This is Ometa, and I am seed of word and ministry. Amen. I just wanted to send this video tonight to encourage you in the Lord. I love the Lord. How about you? God is good and he's worthy to be praised. I told you I was putting together a book called On the Other Side of Illness. Amen. Or sickness. I haven't quite decided yet. But it's been an interesting year and a half going through this journey. God has been good. And I've learned so many things about chronic kidney disease and how you can not only reverse it, but stop it from going any further by what you do. And one of those things is to, some of the things that you can do is exercise, make sure you get proper rest, and make sure you eat right. I have eaten more vegetables and fruits than I think probably in years. But learning about the different fruits and vegetables and what they contain and how they protect your kidney is real important to know for those who have kidney issues. And so I guess this video would really be about servicing the ones who have kidney issues. One of the things that we need to watch is our potassium level and our chloride level and those things can be managed by eating lower quantities of whatever food it is. And as I listen to the videos on uh, kidney, chronic kidney disease, I've learned some things. Like I was wondering about tomatoes. Is it okay if I have a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich? Yes, it is okay for me, me specifically, to have a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. For me, that means a half a piece of bacon, half of the strip, about a third of the tomato, and I usually put it on a half a slice of bread because bread turns into starch and starch turns into sugar, so I have to watch that. It's been eventful because I have gone from 267 down to 185 in weight. And it looks as though I'm going to have to alter, the doctor will have to alter some of my um, pills, my blood pressure pills, because I have noticed that when I take certain pills, certain things happen to my pulse. Blood pressure remains the same, but the pulse alters. And so I've been taking my blood pressure frequently during the day after I take a medication just to see how it is controlling my blood pressure. These things are important when I meet with the doctor because it is not just meeting with a kidney specialist, but also lining up with a nutritionist to see the different foods that I can eat. And one thing I found out on yesterday, Pepperidge Farm uh, muffins don't have phosphorus in it, which is against our kidney. It doesn't help our kidney at all. And um, you can get it from Walmart. I got it this morning and my husband put some no salt butter on it and a little bit of jelly. And it was really good with that half a piece of bacon. <laughs> it doesn't sound like much, but when uh, you're taking a bunch of pills, sometimes the pills uh, change your appetite. And I've been having that. So my appetite changed and my taste buds don't seem to be the same. Maybe because I'm 76 now. I don't know. I'm going to ask the doctor when I talk to her. But I'm enjoying the journey now. I'm home. I'm not in the hospital. And I'm able to take my blood pressure as frequently as I can during the day and watch the different changes. Certain medicine I take takes my blood pressure my pulse down lower than the doctor wants it to be, which is 70, and it'll take it down to 40. I don't feel dizzy or lightheaded or anything, 
But the thing is that that particular pill does alter my pulse, not my blood pressure. Thank God my blood pressure has been staying the same. And my numbers for my kidney are changing. And one day last week when the blood was drawn, that kidney rate was 11 and now it is down to 10. I'm excited about this coming Friday when I'm going to get blood taken again to see if it has changed a lot or a little. A little means a lot. Amen. Step by step. Well, I'm not going to hold you. I just wanted to share that information for those that might. Amen. I read in, um, in the Bible a scripture that said Jesus was going to pluck out things. Pluck out. And I see God plucking out things that I really don't need in my life at this point. I want to do more at 76. I want to minister not only the word of God, but also healing in food and uh, I want to be an example. Paul said he he stays under himself so that he will not be a castaway when people look at his life and I want that same thing. How about you? God bless you. God loves you and so do I. See you soon. Be blessed.